Hello guys. How are you? Uh, while you are watching uh, me paint this background, I can talk about a few things. Uh, so far, I'll be mostly. I have been mostly painting uh, icons, but I I would like to get out of my comfort zone and uh, try something new. So you'll see me struggling with this background. Making YouTube videos is hard. Of course, I will be still painting icons. I just want to add other things like backgrounds and hopefully one day is maybe portraits or something like that. I've been struggling with this background because I didn't have a plan and I just kept adding things and trying to make it work. Uh, it's not really supposed to be anything representable, it's just me practicing this. So I got this comment on Instagram. Uh, this guy says, I want to do all this style of stuff, it's my favorite, but I can't figure out a comfortable technique to go about it. And I told him that I will talk about it in this YouTube video. So I will show on my screen some images, probably more some of my illustrations or... So here on my screen uh, you can see technique that I'm mostly using. And when I'm using this technique, uh, this technique illustrations usually end up looking good, uh, clean, and you can see that it's all planned out. It's not messy or muddy. It's always uh, these three steps. Sketch, then some base color, and final rendering and details in the end. As you can see here, uh, you want your sketch to look very good before you do any color because if sketch is not interesting enough, mm, chances are very small that and uh, result will be interesting. But it's basically these three steps: sketch, some base colors, and final rendering and details. I'm going to show a few examples. This is another example, sketch, base colors, final rendering and details. I think you should uh, try and go with this technique, at least for a start, because uh, steps are very clear and you know what you should do in each stage of the illustration. Uh, first, make a interesting looking sketch. I, I like to use w a word fun because I see all this fantasy game art style uh, reminds me of just fun looking world of course you need inspiration too go to Pinterest uh, and type scrolls game art and then while you are making this sketch always keep inspiration references on the side or on the other monitor and keep comparing and always ask yourself a question, is there uh, any way I can make this sketch looking even more fun? And keep adding little details, changing things, of course, exaggerating. Uh, try to exaggerate those shapes. In this style, it's all about exaggerating and making things look more fun than they are in reality. Uh, also try to add unusual a little details for example this scroll uh, it would probably this thing here I don't know what it's called ribbon uh, it would probably be some kind of simple red uh, ribbon like this it would probably look something like this but you should always ask yourself let's make it more fun and add something else so I've added this uh, something like leaves plenty thing also here this is a good example how i tried to make it more fun looking all scrolls are made of paper so i thought okay let's make it more fun uh, what if a scroll is made out of wood um, this cannot work in real life and when i posted this on facebook 
I got a comment saying, but this is impossible, you can't bend wood like this. But it doesn't matter, I'd rather have something look interesting than, uh, than making sure it's functional in real life. Of course that is important too, but uh, making it look fun is uh, the most important thing for me. Also, I have this comment on Facebook that I want to answer. My client slash friend says I would like to know the secret recipe for your bright cotton candy colors and mystical style that is unique to your fantasy work. Okay, Matthew, uh, this is a hard question. Secret recipe for bright cotton candy colors. There is no secret recipe. Uh, there is no secret recipe. There is a lot of copying. There is a lot of uh, looking and copying what other artists that I like are doing. So, I mean, you know what I mean. I'm not really copying. I'm just taking inspiration and trying to make my colors look like their colors. And I'm constantly comparing if my colors are uh, candy bright enough as they are and if they are not I keep trying to make them look candy and bright and of course uh, time I've been doing this for a few years and I am still trying to get there my style is still not uh, what I want it to be uh, especially if you compare it to some of amazing artists that you see out there. If I put my work next to theirs, it's still still not there. So I am not. I'm definitely not any kind of teacher. Uh, I see my my social media and my YouTube. I see as a journal. I just want you to see my progress, and I want to follow my own progress and see where it will take me. So I'm not trying to teach anybody anything. I am just growing as all of you are. And one day I will get there. <laughs>